stage before you is the Lassiter High School Jazz Band. We meet during our ASC time, which is our academic support and enrichment, for about 20 minutes, three times a week. As you can imagine, that's not a whole lot of time. But what these young uh, men and women have done is just short of miraculous because they come in and focus every day. Jazz is one of my favorite idioms. Why? Because I'm truly an American soul. I love jazz, I love music, but most importantly, I love American music. When we first presented the jazz to this group, they were a little bit uncomfortable because of the freedom associated with it. With jazz, we don't tell you what to play, we tell you kind of how to play, and then you fill in the blanks with the rest. But they kind of wanted to say, well, tell me what to play. And I was like, you can play whatever you want. So we give them a, a small outline, and you're gonna see and hear some of that tonight. I'm really, really proud, and I hope that you guys enjoy uh, minor, what's it called? Minor attitude, <laughs> minor attitude. So, ladies and gentlemen, last year, Jasmine.
So you can see we have three soloists on that. That's from an era of jazz called Cool, popularized by Miles Davis. Bop and Hard Bop and Cool are some of my favorite eras of jazz. And it was a good uh, segue to help them kind of get comfortable with soloing. We're gonna end with another really, really cool piece. It's from, uh, I'm not gonna say my childhood, but it came out when I was in college, Family Guy. And I always liked the music in Family Guy. It was always interesting and always kind of like jazzy and orchestral and lots of Broadway tunes. And they like the tune too. So I'm really, really uh, glad to have the jazz program up and hopping. Hopefully it'll get back to where it was in 2012. I had about like two different groups, uh, 50 kids involved. If they could just get over the fear factor of, of telling, telling you, you know, not what to play, but just put yourself out there. That's the best thing about music. It's about sharing your soul, and these young people have been sharing their soul with you. So I hope you enjoy, enjoy Family Guy. Mood. We're going to go through a couple of uh, transitions. While we transition, we're going to keep things going with our woodwind quintet, who is also our soprano sax and alto saxophone player, as he then joins Grandin. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the last of the woodwind quintet. Thank you. 
stage before you is the freshman ensemble. This is most of our freshmen that come into the program. We spend a lot of time working on fundamentals of tone, technique, range, and general skill before they take off into the other ensembles. Their conductor is Ms. Kimberly Snyder, so please welcome to the stage the last sort of freshman. So we're going to play a little demonstration for you now.
with us. We have four in class with us and then we added five more. And uh, please join us with Jingle Jangle.
Opportunity. Our next piece, March of the Kvetchers, is a world premiere piece, and we have been fortunate enough to have the composer with us on two of our rehearsals. And she's in the audience with us tonight, and I would love to bring her up here, Miss Laura Estes. Retired uh, Cobb County band director. She's taught at Mabry Middle School, Daniel Middle School, and Smith Middle School. She taught for 36 years, um, and she's taught both high school and middle school. Um, so she has started composing, and there's not. It's very hard finding some some young some pieces for younger bands that are well written, that are cheesy, and that are fun to play. And so we had this fabulous opportunity, and we're so thankful for you to be here and giving this, us, Lasseter and Concert One, the opportunity to world premiere your piece. So thank you so much.
Thank you very much. That was Christmas favorites. Uh, it's always interesting to see what it's going to be like. Today's the first day that we've played with the percussion with any of our ensembles, so we pray and it's a mystery, but it all works out. <laughs> we really appreciate our amazing percussion instructors, Mike Lynch and Joe Donahue, for all of your work. They're at stage somewhere. Over there. So we couldn't do this without them. Uh, this next song is called Bashana Habaa. It's an Israeli tune. It's really, um, it's really a Rosh Hashanah tune, but it's a promise of a new year, uh, and it's one of my favorite uh, lyric tunes. So I hope you enjoy Bashana Habaa. Thank you for your support, everybody. Our last piece was called Festa, and it was the my first year making All-State Band um, in high school. 
interestingly, I was in the band with Mr. Thompson. We didn't know each other at the time, in 1991. Um, but this was the first piece we played in Allstate, so it's kind of nostalgic to me, so it's cool to be able to do that with a high school band when we played it as a, a top state band uh, many years ago. So I hope you enjoy Festa.
Minor alterations, Christmas to the Looking Glass is a medley of favorite Christmas tunes, transposed from major to minor keys, then disguised, layered, and morphed even more. From the ominous deck to halls at the start, to the final, frenzied Nutcracker Sweet Finale, each tune is lovingly twisted into something new and inventive. This arrangement has been used to teach the band to play in a variety of styles and modes while still capturing the joy and whimsy of the holiday season. We hope you enjoy Minor Alterations.
Dreidel Dance was first performed in 2006 by the United States Air Force Band in Washington, D.C. Tonight, we will attempt to brighten the holidays with this lighthearted theme and variations mashup of the Dreidel Song and Havel Nagala. Both of these highly spirited tunes are run through a musically stylistic funhouse, culminating in a breathtaking flurry of high-speed energy. The flying technical passages may be challenging, but this whirlwind presentation is well worth the effort.
Mr. Banks, can you come up on stage, please, sir? So, Mr. Banks, you've been coming to enough of these concerts. It's time for you to perform on one. So, you're going to be our sleigh bell. You're going to hold it like this and just tap it. That's it. So, when I point to you, you start a chain. has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contribution to light orchestral music composition. He had the original idea for Sleigh Ride during a heat wave in July 1946 and finished the work two years later. The song was a hit record and has probably been performed and recorded by a wider array of musicians than any other piece in the history of Western music. Anderson's style was influenced by the music of George Gershwin and folk music of various countries. The horse whinny at the end of Sleigh Ride is made by a trumpet half valve glissando and will be performed by the Simon trumpet section. The famous whip cracks and sleigh bells are made by a percussionist with his lap stand.
Thank you guys so much. We'd like to end the night with a sing-along. We're going to have the lyrics up on stage. If you would join us in playing. All the band members, come up on stage, please. The kids are super excited. This is the first time we've done this together, that we've had the whole band on stage. Energy is high, and they're shoving themselves on stage. So, all right, audience members, time for you to stand up. Oh, yeah. Stretch it out. I know you've been sitting, but we've done pretty good on time. Hour and almost 40 minutes. We'll be out of here in five more minutes. It's pretty good. We put a lot of stuff in on this concert. We will put the words up here, and we would love for you to sing along. I am not going to lead you on the microphone singing.
Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful evening and happy holidays.